today I'm going to do an unboxing of Fleet Commander Nimitz Adversary, Admiral Yamamoto from DVG Games. This is an expansion to, you guessed it, Fleet Commander Nimitz, the World War II Pacific Ocean Solitaire Strategy Game. What you get in uh, Fleet Commander Nimitz Admiral Yamamoto is, well, let's take a look at the back of the box. This expansion adds Japanese fleet cards and counters to your Fleet Commander Nimitz game. These cards form the Japanese ship counters into organized fleets considered around centered around aircraft carriers, battleships, or cruisers. This makes the Imperial Japanese Navy an even more imposing adversary. You must have Fleet Commander Nimitz to use this. So let's get inside the box here. So uh, the, I believe the intent of this is um, that when you're playing Fleet Commander Nimitz, the stacks of fleets or the, the ship counters get pretty and wieldy. They're, there's huge stacks, especially for the Japanese, that kind of build up on the board because you know, you're playing them as a AI. And um, it's hard to get off here. You're playing them as an AI, and they, um, huh, let's see if I can get this thing out of here or not. And they, um, I'm going to go off screen on this. So uh, you, you're playing them as an AI, and they need to, um, you know, they're moving uh, through the movement orders, and so you can, you can kind of get huge stacks building up. So let's get this out of here. So I imagine you're going to get counters that deal with the stacks. Is there anything else in here? Looks like there's something else in here. There we go. There we go. All right, so you're gonna get uh, cards here. These are like the fleet cards. You're gonna get your rules here, which are fold out. Let's take a look at those first. And then you're gonna, you're gonna have some counters, which I, I would imagine are the fleet markers. There we go. So here are your rules. They're one-sided, uh, dual column color uh, with some examples in blue. But there are your rules for using these counters or in these cards, you know, these fleet cards and counters, adding them to your gameplay. So let's look at the counters here. And so basically these are fleets. So they're the typical GMT, oh, sorry, uh, DBG uh, counters. They're pretty thick. Uh, so what is that? I don't know if it's called gray board or what. But pre-rounded, they pop out pretty good. Uh, good thick counters. And there's going to be different fleets here. So you have a surface fleet one and carrier fleet five here and battle fleet one. So you have several different fleet markers here. They're double-sided. And they have the year on it, so I imagine that you use those for the different years. And then there's some more transports here. I think that was an issue in, um, I think that you ran out of transports some of the times in uh, in the game. There's 43, so you got different fleets for the different years that you can use. And then I imagine these are, are what go on the board. So you don't have a, these huge stacks of stuff. And then you got the counters, uh, the, uh, the, the counters themselves would go on these cards. So here you have surface fleet. This is 42, surface fleet number one, Caroline Islands. And you have, it lists the counters that are there. And then I guess this would have three transports. So there you have it. These are the you know, the fleet cards that you'll use, and then you'll have the counters on these. So it's almost like it's like holding boxes. You know, they're cards, but they're it's like having a holding box uh, player aid for for the different fleets. Um, just kind of flip thumb through those real quick there, and uh, but then the counters themselves will go on the. Uh, We'll go on the uh, we'll go on the on the board, and that's what you move around. That's what the AI or the Japanese use the uh, their movement orders 
uh, moving as an AI will will be able to um, remove those fleet counters. So you just got more of them here. So that is what you get in a box of Yamamoto, Admiral Yamamoto. Um, so I, I've seen a little bit of stuff online talking about this. I think uh, uh, Tim Korcherai has uh, talked about this a little bit, and I think it helps. He said I think it helps a little bit, but it didn't uh, help as much as he had thought. I think he was kind of expecting this to be, you know, as it says on the box, you know, be a, a more formidable adversary. And I don't know if he's had that same experience with uh, with this. I have yet to try it, so I want to see what, what it does, but, you know, it is, it, from an organizational standpoint, it looks like it's it's uh, useful, at the very least. So that is what you get in a box of Admiral Yamamoto for uh, expansion for Fleet Commander Nimitz. I hope this was helpful. If you like, please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe, hit the bell so you know when new stuff's coming out. What's your, what's your thoughts on this? Have you tried this? Do you like it? Uh, how do you use it? Love to see a discussion started. Um, but most importantly, thanks for watching.